This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Um, I got something in today and I wanted to show it off to you guys. Um, I got in the new steelbook um, for the fog from Shout Factory. Check out this cool artwork. It's probably a glare because of the metal. But it looks really good. And this is the steel book. This is metal. And It is the Blu-ray and the 4K. It's really nice looking. Um, so I also got um, this poster that came with it. And it's that same cool artwork. With that same cool glare. Um, I have to get a frame for this thing. But it's really cool. It'll look nice with a... Like a cool black frame around it. would look nice if it would focus too. Anyway, so I signed up for the version that came with the steelbook, the poster, and the Adrian Barbeau action figure. And when this showed up today, I opened up the box and I was like, where the fuck is my figure? <laughs> and I freaked out. Um, I had forgotten the small print which said, the figure will ship at a later date. So it kind of threw a monkey wrench into my plan. Um, as soon as I get her, I will show her to you guys. Um, it's just, they haven't shipped yet. Um, I don't think anybody has gotten theirs. So you'll see her as soon as I see her. Um, this is my older Blu-ray copy, which is, you know, still a really nice addition. This is cool artwork. This is cool artwork, but I really dig the, um, the old school poster. This is the poster I remember. This is the, the um, advertisement I would see in the newspaper for it. It's just such a cool image. And it's not like this is replacing that. They're both going to be on the shelf. So that's cool. Um, so I might not have Adrian Barbeau to show you guys, but I do have a couple collectibles to show you. Um, this is the gorgeous um, record double record from uh, Waxwork Records. Look at the, look at the ghost hands coming out of the fog and the, uh, is it picking it up? Yeah, like, it looked like two eyes. This is a, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Really nice artwork. It's really cool.
And I, I just love Carpenter's music. I always have. And this is a really good soundtrack. Six Must Die. And the album is, is beautiful. It looks like fog. So The Fog was Carpenter's follow-up film to Halloween. And to me, it's like the perfect one-two punch. Halloween is, is freaking awesome. And The Fog um, is really cool because it's like an old-time ghost story. I mean, the thing starts off on the beach um, you know it starts off telling telling the ghost story on the beach um, about the story of them about Blake Captain Blake and his crew and it's just it's so cool it's I think that after Halloween, everybody was expecting Carpenter to come out with like a loud, you know, maybe over the top sort of like maybe another slasher film or I don't know. He, he zigged when everybody thought he was going to zag and he came back with this beautiful little ghost story. Um, and it's so good. It's such a good movie. There's Carpenter. Father, can I get paid? <laughs> no, Bennett. Fuck you. You can't get paid. <laughs> Almost midnight. So if you guys are watching this, I know you all know, but, um, you know, the main ghost, Captain Blake, that was, that was Rob Bottin, the special effects man. <clears throat> but I'm sure you guys all knew that already, because if you're following along and you dig the things I like, then of course you guys knew that. But hey, every, you know, we all forget things from time to time. I mean, shit, I forgot that the figure shipped at a later date. <sighs> anyway, this this record um, is really cool. You guys should try and, and pick this up. It's It's got some tracks on there I don't think I've I heard before. Um, plus just... Just the presentation of it is is beautiful. I have the soundtrack on CD, but you know I collect horror soundtracks on record, and you know horror and science fiction and kaiju and Halloween records. I collect all that stuff on vinyl, and <clears throat> when I saw this, I could not turn it down. Okay, up next is a really cool collectible from NECA. And it is one of NECA's sort of retro, like a me, like Amigo figure. It's a retro figure. I think they call these their retro cloth figures. It is a gorgeous Captain Blake. Look at his, his skin is sort of purple. Well, the skin that's not rotted is sort of a bluish purple. just looks so damn cool. Look at his, look in there, you can see his face is all rotted off. Um, comes with a nice, uh, a nice sword. 
and um, the sheath, uh, the scabbard, fits onto his, his belt. And the cool thing about this figure is um, his eyes, his eyes light up bright red and they are very, very bright. Now you guys know I take all the batteries out of my toys when I'm not playing with them. And um, the thing is with this figure is he drains batteries super fast. And I don't know if it's some sort of defect of NECA's. Um, I know they just released like a new batch of him a couple months ago. I got him when he first came out and then it sold out and they have recently released like a second batch of him. I don't know if they addressed the issue and it doesn't do that anymore, but um, I've gone through three sets of batteries with him. The batteries that he first came with were like some of those, you know, like try me batteries. So I chalked it up to uh, maybe the batteries were just weak. But then I, I put new batteries in him and I would turn it on, take photos of it, you know, and not leave it on for an excessive amount of time. I would turn it back off. The, but the batteries kept on draining even when, even when not in use. Even when the button was on the off position, it was still draining. So it was just killing batteries left and right. So now when I want to take photos of him or, or something, I will put batteries in him. But... It's just a minor nitpick. I mean, how can you turn down the main ghost from the fog in an action figure form? It's a, it's an awesome toy. His his rotted skin, his his cool tattered clothes. It's really nice. I mean, I would like if NECA could produce like an action figure, an action figure, action figure of him. But if they don't, and this is all we really get, I'm fine with it. It's a, it's a really nice interpretation of the character. But they might come out with an, like a more traditional action figure version because they're making a lot of John Carpenter stuff at NECA. And they also, they know people like the fog because they also came out with this little guy. And this is from, I think they call it their Tiny Terrors or Toonie, Toonie Terrors. I think that's what it's called. Toonie Terrors. They're like little cartoon versions of horror movies. And this is Blake with his purple skin and he's all rotting. It looks like if Captain Blake found himself in the Scooby-Doo world is how it looks. He looks like a Scooby-Doo character. Which is still cool. Um, he's posable somewhat, um, but you know, the way his, his clothes are, fo are formed, are sculpted, um, even though he moves, you know, his, his clothes look kind of weird in other positions, but, you know, whatever, he's a ghost. Maybe he doesn't obey the laws of physics. <laughs> his clothes do what they want to do. So that's another cool little figure from NECA for good old Blake. So yeah, um, those are my fog collectibles that I'm glad you guys could take a look at. So the Adrian Barbeau that's coming out, she's one of these figures. She'll be a retro cloth figure like this. Um, if I were a betting man, I would say that NECA is just going to reuse the Elvira body for Adrian Barbeau. Um, cause that tooling costs a lot and they only used, you know, they only made that Elvira figure and, um, you know, it might be sort of a waste for them to have that body and not do anything else with it. And since, 
Adrian Barbeau sort of has some of the same proportions as Elvira. I could see them just using that body with a Adrian Barbeau head put on it, but I don't know for sure because I don't have it yet. But when I get it, I'll show it to you guys. Um, but yeah, she's gonna be one of these types of figures that has like a cloth outfit. But the prototype, the head that I saw, it's sculpted really nice. It's, it's just as nice as Blake here. So that's cool. Anyway, thanks for stopping back by, guys. And um, pick, you guys should pick up your copy of the Steelbook while it's still available. Um, you can never get too much John Carpenter stuff. You know? All right, my friends. Thanks for stopping back by. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.